Today we're going to be heading down to Tesla to take delivery of a 2023 Tesla Model 3. It is going to be my sister's second Tesla Model 3 delivery day. I'm super excited. We've got my brother-in-law as well right over here. That's going to be an exciting day. It's been a, over a year and a half that we didn't take any delivery of a Tesla. I also want to say special thanks to Drive Protected for sending out some of their PPF film to protect our Model 3. That is the first thing I ever want to do. When we get a car, we want to get it protected as soon as possible. All of our vehicles do have the drive protected film. When I started installing the PPF, I didn't know how to do it. I only watched their videos and figured out how to do it. If you do the job yourself, you're saving a lot of money. If you use my code POG Auto, you will save also 20% from your order. So we're gonna head out to the Tesla service center now to pick up that new Tesla Model 3 long range. That car is also gonna have the winter tires with the aero wheels on that we purchased from Tesla. And we're gonna have the 19 inch sport wheels. They're gonna load up to my Model X. Because I have my sister's Tesla profile on my account, I didn't set up this to be like my phone key. So I got my wife to open the door for us. Let's go to Tesla. It's this one. Why is it not the winter tires? It has to be this one. But it was supposed to have the winter tires on it. It is the midnight silver exterior with the 19 inch sport wheels. These were supposed to be 18 inch aero wheels with the winter tires. But I'm not sure why they didn't do that. They were supposed to switch them up and then deliver the vehicle to us with the aero wheels and winter tires. Thankfully not that bad of a day. But they didn't even contact us to let us know that they didn't do that. It is right now with the 235 40 R19 Continental Pro Contact all season tires inside is just regular black it does have some oxidation on the tail lights as you guys can see here as well so this side is wider than this side there's a scratch here let's just go see inside see why the winter tires aren't on the car and then we'll see from there on all right so they are going to unlock the vehicle for me so that we can take a look they just unlocked let's hop inside what is important to me is the mileage. Nicely, they left a plastic cover here because we don't have a screen protector just yet. The car only has five kilometers on it, which is great. In regards to the winter tires, they said they did send a quote for us to approve and we didn't approve it. So yeah, we didn't get an email like that to approve it. So I don't know what they're talking about, but that's the reason they said they still have time today to put it on. But the problem is we don't have the time most likely to put that on. Let's just see how it is. But yeah, so we've got the center console here, the wireless chargers, that's what that looks like open the glove box got the memory stick there this does have three months of full self-driving because she did use our referral link to end up purchasing this tesla so she got six months of free supercharging and three months of full self-driving and from past referrals thank you very much i did end up picking myself up one of these tesla bomber jackets which is great so thank you for using my referral link as of right now if you use my referral link you'll get three months of full self-driving just like this car and you'll also get the six months free supercharging but obviously tesla is very strong at changing what you get upon whenever they want so that's what it is today but maybe you'll get better benefits or less benefits depending on where it is but it's totally worth it to use a referral link when you're purchasing a tesla i'll have a link in my description so you guys can use my code if you want to do that and if we look here for charging it is saying charge limit 80 percent recommended for daily driving so i assume this car probably still has the same batteries not like the lfp battery because it doesn't say recommend 100 percent charge here's the rear seats let's get out there's a little mark right here on the headliner this one looks a bit dirty here yeah i'm not sure it might be like that i don't know hopefully i don't hit my car but even if i do it is protected with the drive protected paint protection film so it won't scratch it so once we accept the delivery as you guys can see it does show that the car has the traffic aware cruise control the auto steer beta which is standard but then we've got the full self-driving but I guess for that, we have to calibrate the cameras by driving the car. Let's see if premium connectivity. Yeah, it looks like premium connectivity trial has started.
it's been three days now we've got the model 3 i ended up getting the defense plus paint protection film all installed we've got the full front including the headlights as well as the fog lights it was a bit harder but thankfully i do have the heated garage so that made it so much easier here's kind of what it looks like just a little bit of bubbles most of these do go away on its own it turned out great as you guys can see the fenders do wrap around over here we did not drive the car at all since we took delivery we only brought it home until we put the ppf on so that way it will be protected it's not going to be as great as a professional because we're not a professional but it will be protected we've got marks like these but these ones do go away i just did not put the car outside because it's all snowing and stuff so these kind of scratches will actually go away when the car gets hot from the sun bubble here this has water in it as you can see so we could poke a hole and then take that out there's also the bumper as you guys can see it is the one piece no sensor bumper here's the rocker panel install so it kind of goes like this and then we also have it on the door so part of the door is protected as you can see a bit of air bubble here but again i did not go with the heat gun process just yet this part of the door all this rocker panel is all protected including pretty much underneath here. So we could remove this and this paint is still protected. And this is on both sides. So what's left is pretty much me having to use the heat gun and go across the edges. And I do have the heater running at like 25 degrees. So the car is in a warm garage during this time. So that should help with the adhering. So we're not gonna drive this because as you can see, it was actually snowing yesterday. It is good to have the Model 3 in the garage. So that way all of these will fully adhere. I also wanna mention that if you get the full front paint protection film, it does not come with the egg pill protection so i highly recommend you to get the full front paint protection film plus so that way these a pillars are also protected at least up to here i believe this model y also has the paint protection film it is on the entire car here's kind of how it's holding up after a year and a half having this kind of conditions it's very difficult to wash the car i don't have a hose i did the bucket method and here we have the model 3 all protected with the defense plus ppf the full front i did end up just using the heat gun going through the edges and protecting it as much as possible so that no edges end up lifting up there's the bottom for the rocker panel we've got it on the portion of the doors here until here for the front and the rear and of course the mirror and look at the amount of shine that the ppf brings to the vehicle if you remember from yesterday there was a lot more bubbles for the rocker panel it didn't go as great i'm not sure why as you can see there's quite a bit of bubbles right there so hopefully these will go away we didn't drive this at all after delivery because i wanted this to be all protected and that's kind of what outside looks like once you drive out i'm still grateful with the install the car will be protected and i think it turned out a lot better than i thought it would be and yeah that's pretty much the install of the ppf all right guys so we just went on our first drive after bringing the car home the ppf is done and uh, the winter tire has a defect as you guys can see the bid is not sitting right if i spray some soapy water you can see that it's bubbling up so the tire pressure instantly dropped we thought we got a nail in the tire but it's apparently here it's just not seated properly hopefully tesla is gonna do the right thing and cover this under warranty Another thing we still have is the oxidation, as you can see on the taillights, and here as well. Quite a bit of oxidation. Model X here, no any oxidation, as you can see. The Model Y here, no any oxidation, same thing as you can see. I just ended up removing this thing, as you can see. It was like an extra piece of rubber inside between the wheel well. Yeah, it definitely seems to be a defect on the tire itself. There is a little bit of curb rash here. We just came to Tesla. They did end up replacing that entire tire with a new one right there. Today's been one week since we took delivery of this Tesla Model 3 long range. So let's take a look at the PPF and also talk about the car. So that's what the Model 3 looks like. It currently has the winter tires, which are the Pirelli Scorpion Soto Zero 3. Of course, we did have issues with the winter tires. So while the car was parked in the garage, we didn't have any issues. But once we went on the drive after installing the PPF, it started to leak air. In regards to the build quality, it is much solid now the door actually sounds really nice when you close it however this side here of the car like the driver door it does feel like there's a big gap in between here and there as you can see so fit and finish still could have been better the oxidation on the tail lights they were kind of out there for even the third day but then they went away so this was all fixed on its own the oxidation 
hopefully it stays that way for the tires tesla did end up crediting 25 percent from the cost because of the inconvenience and they also ended up replacing the entire wheel and tire on that driver's side rear with a brand new one the reason they did the 25 percent is because these tires actually not the tires but the wheels they had scuff marks on them before we even drove the car so like right here you can see it looks like it's a curb damage right there and here but we never curbed the car so i was able to find a video of this being there before we took delivery other than that guys the model 3 is a great buy i mean look at the amount of leg room you get you have like a center armrest right here and then of course two usb-c charging ports right below the vents and the new model 3 it actually has even a display at the back just like the model x and s when it comes to the ppf the installation is looking great there's no any like peeling or anything it is all nicely sticking to the car so i definitely went with the heat gun quite a bit just to make sure the edges will stick because this is kind of the conditions we are driving in right away and as you can see like this film is so easy to work with that once you put even the heat gun it sticks to the car of course we have it also over here on the rocker panel and the stickiness to it is great there's no any peeling and it's been like four days my sister has been driving in a condition like this there's this side right over here no any peeling as you can see but yeah that's pretty much our delivery experience with the tesla model 3 getting winter tires the experience with that and also the experience with installing ppf especially weather conditions like this but yeah this is our sixth tesla vehicle purchase in like two years and i highly recommend you to use a referral link when you're ordering your tesla it doesn't have to be a new order it can be existing inventory i will leave my link in the description so that way you can get the benefits at one point they actually removed the referral program completely so if you're in the market for a tesla 100 look at their existing inventories because you will be able to get some inventory discount not a demo discount this car was brand new but we still got like inventory discount on it you can also get referral program benefits alongside with that this car got the federal tax incentive of five thousand dollars plus it also got the inventory discount so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.